look at that. Look at that one slot that doesn't have a thing. Blurry visions are forcing themselves into focus. What is happening with the orb? Wait, did you see something in there? Well, it was blurry. Uh-oh. What? Well, the demons are not only fighting us across time, but across space, too. You mean, parallel universes? Dude, you dig on multiverses? Precisely. The orb, amongst other things, warns us of alternate timelines where the demons are about to win. And if that happens, these events could overwrite our own reality. Oh my god, it's the Dunamis! <laughs> It's the Dunamis, where if you go to the Dunamis and and fail, for absolutely no reason, your own timeline also is killed. How does that make sense? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> In fact, if you prefer consistency over additional content, I suggest you leave the lore of the orb alone. Additional content sounds good. Then I suggest you do not leave the orb alone. In an alternate timeline, the, f the Phobikens have been kidnapped. To save the day, a messenger is needed in the tropics. Picnic Panic. Is that is that an Akewood reference? Is this is this the DLC? Is that where I got it? In any case, I will first I will first get the medallions. First and foremost, in Formosa. Where are the last? Over here. Do I do I have it then? Let me turn around real quick. Does Steam say that I have Picnic Panic? Or is it free DLC? It's free DLC, and I do already have it. Well, I guess we're gonna be playing this tomorrow, too. Alright, which which one is the... The River Turquoise? This one? No. Yeah, this is it. Why did I do that? No, it was fine. Oh, duh. <laughs> that wasn't helpful. No health. It's no fun. <laughs> this could be difficult.
Keeper of the Lake streak is over. You keep getting Zelfatal and Copper Bell hard. I never get Copper Bell hard. That is very strange. I mean, it's not very strange. It is an option. <laughs> is not going to be easy. There's such a, like, a wide variety of challenges in these medallion things. Like, some of them I just run in and just get it immediately. And then other ones, it's like, okay, you're going to die like 10 or 20 times doing this. Chill, chill, chill. Okay, now up and... because it's very bad to like go too high yes i only need two more green coin things we just finished the uh like the the normal game so That was not what I wanted at all. I want to go slap. Nope. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go slash, slash, jump, slash, jump. <sighs> Alright, somehow. Here we go. Slash, slash, jump, slash, jump. <laughs> it's hurting my hand now. It's while flying, slash, then slash again to get a little bit higher, then jump to stop floating, then slash to get a double jump. Oh, no, it, then it's going to be slash, slash, jump, slash, jump, jump, so that I start hovering again. Slash, slash, jump, slash, jump, jump. I guess. This is, this is why I absolutely could never do any kind of, like, speed running that required precision stuff. There would be no joy in my life if I had to practice this. And I go, yeah, I just gotta get to the point where every time I get here, I do it right the first time. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> 
see that that's exactly what I want to do I just need to do it another one more time and I did <laughs> ay, ay, ay. now where am I off to it's the final one is all the way at the end of this stretch. In fact, I didn't I didn't hate these things. This was an alright level. I was just about to say, does this kill me because I violated the rules? That should have killed me, and I shouldn't have taken that risk. <sighs> Knowing that I hadn't touched a save point... You, that guy, reported, reported for bullying. Did I get... Did I get it? Oh, you stepped away? You stepped away thinking that I wouldn't get it for years? Is that what... Is that what you're trying to tell me? No faith whatsoever? Of course I got it. If I had let go of the jump button, for even an instant, I would have touched the platform and gotten another jump. It's fine. All is well. Still get to float down here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hoi. Whoop. Whoop. Five thousandth times a charm. It's really hard to deal with platforms that are falling, because they fall at the same, you know, same general speed that I do. Hi-ya! hi -ya. I mean, I suppose that's the idea. Normal platforming rules do not apply. 
still valid. Oh, see you later, Volt Face. Do enjoy the rest of your day. There will be more of this game tomorrow. So that I may play the Picnic Panic DLC. Still not there. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 Blind Umpire was leaving. How do you guys expect me to read, huh? Is this a game to you? What? Still not there yet. Still a ways to go. Wanted? Oh, I have to be shot across. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, is it fine? It's not fine. We already got the one over there, whatever that was. Looks good. So somewhere here we can go where we can go up is the final, final, final se se secret medallion. How delightful that vultures would come to kill me.
<laughs> Legitimately forgot to translate it? No, it probably just sounds very nice in French. Okay, so that over there is what I actually want. How would one accomplish such? <clears throat> oh! Wait! <laughs> Zip! That's the wrong way, though. So it's to be a puzzle, is it? Except not really. Oh. Can't I just... No, apparently not. Here it is, final medal. What? Really? Wheeling and sealing. All right, how do I get out of here? Fall to my death? Good idea. Oh, that actually happened, though. Go in the money sink first. So what did I get? I might, I might have missed what it was that I was buying. <laughs> I bought the guy, but what happened? I bought the toy, but what? Oh, oh, it's up there. I see. And that's it. All right, that's not much of a thing. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be. All right, glowing treasure chest. What is inside you? The windmill shuriken. Avoid catching it to maximize duration like Ninja Gaiden? <laughs> All right, well, that, that was that. <laughs> oh, and it now powers up over... 
interesting. So I have an infinite amount of them now, I don't need to... Man, that's gotta be great for speedruns, just running all through- Well, no, wait. You don't get it until after you've completely beaten everything, so not really. Little bit of an anticlimax, but I'm okay with that. What is going on? My devices are reacting as if a portal to another dimension had just opened. It's fine, you can get back to work. But I'm supposed to be the one- I'm supposed to be the one opening the portals. I'm telling you, it's fine. Is the messenger leaving for a side adventure? Yes. And do you think- And do you think you will do the thing? I don't know, why? Because it's not a real adventure if you don't do the thing. Looks it's just a quick trick into the dimension where Vood Voodkin Island never merged with our mainland. I'm sure nothing of note will happen. Well, you better let me know if you do the thing. I want to be there. It's gonna be great for speed ones. The thing that you get for a massive amount of optional item collection. Well, maybe, maybe there's a new game plus speed run, right? There's gotta be. Okay, fine. I'll keep you in the loop. Sick. I'll be in my lab. What? Nothing. Well, why don't you go then? It's just, for what? <laughs> it's just, for once, I wish someone said, Godspeed, Artificer. Oh, come on, we're trying to focus here. Why do you always feel the need to make everything about you? Hey, I work really hard, but it's always <laughs> only about you and the Prophet. Wait, don't... You rang? Oh, Prophet, can you say Godspeed, Artificer, just this once, please? I'm sorry, what? Wow, can't we just get on with the show already? These two, I swear. Just go, messenger. And don't forget, you are entering an alternate reality in which you must prevent at all costs. I will handle these two. In an alternate timeline, far off the coast of Messenger Island. Is this gonna be... Is this going to be an adventure island? Um, homage? The sun shined bright on tropical Voodkin Island, so the little Phobikins have decided to have quite the picnic. But as fate would have it, Demon General Barmathazel appeared out of nowhere to cause quite the panic. Taking his hostages deep into Voodkin Island's deadly jungle, he would use them for an evil ritual. That's the worst. Only one hero could travel across dimensions and to rescue the, phobic the Phobikens and foil Barmathazel's plan. Unless, of course, it was all a trap. <laughs> he stole 40 cakes. That's as many as four tens, and that's terrible. I had that book as a child. I knew of that picture decades before it became a thing. Why, hello there, young adventurer. Elder, I was teleported here, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. And you are? You don't recognize me? I'm part of the clan. Listen, I might be old, but it will take more than a costume to fool me. I remember every single student. But I'm a real ninja. You taught me yourself. Do you even cloud step? <laughs> Do you even cloud step, bro? It matters little. I can sense the scroll's power, which means that my time is probably better spent helping rather than questioning. A very tall and apparently ev apparently evil being came in peace to wait at the docks for the messenger. Said he had a mutu mutually beneficial offer for him. I suggest you head for the docks now. And again, we are well versed in the prophecy and acknowledge the scroll. No need to wear a disguise next time. Head left for the docks. There is someone. Someone is expecting you. Yeah, I got my ninja star. Hi, my name is Rock Le Is that his name? Rock Lesure. You clearly don't need a tutorial. Why was that his name? I'm telling you, height makes right. The messenger will bow down, or will bow before the mighty Ruxton. <clears throat> what? 
messenger has arrived. Oh great, just when you think you have plenty of time left to practice your spooky flight intro. I guess I'll just come down. Watch this. And so, the messenger seeks the aid of Ruxton the Great. I do? Well, aren't you trying to get to Voodkin Island? Yes, apparently some phobiakins have been captured. And how do you suppose you will get there? <laughs> well, I was thinking of calling my buddy Manfred to fly me. And ruin his internship with the clockwork concierge? That's not what buddies do. I have you cornered. Bow before me and acknowledge my superior height. Then I will take you there on my skull mount. <clears throat> well, this is embarrassing. Look, I... I have a date tomorrow. Could you help me get my stilts back? I'll take you to Voodkin Island afterwards, I promise. Sure. Alright. Hop on. <laughs> this weather is perfect. Want me to teach you how to surf? Yes! Alright, first rule of surfing, avoid rocks at all costs. Use L to move down one lane now. That's not L. Sometimes avoiding a rock means jumping over it. Press A to jump now. Gnarly! Last thing is the Necro Boost, which has no cost or cooldown. Press X to use Necro Boost. Not too impressive, right? Here's the kicker. Macaroos is maintained when it feeds off of enemies or debris. Cancel if you hit a rock, though. Don't forget to avoid rocks and keep feeding the Necro Boost if you want to maximize speed. That about covers it. I'll let you drive now. Time to shoot the curl. Oh, like that, I see. It's very weird. <laughs>
Uh, let's show that squid who's boss. Is there a squid? Has there been a squid the whole time? Boom! Got him. Guess I want to avoid that one. Have a good night, ever. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not supposed to hit those. Rocked Opus. Enough. Give them back. Why won't you tell us what is wrong, Waxton? I don't want to talk. I just want my stilts. But we miss you. Why won't you visit? Stop it. You're not my mom. Mox Ruxton. It's true. That's not his mom. He left again. Yes. I don't understand him anymore. I thought the necromancer thing was just a phase, but it's been so long now. I feel responsible. We never should have told him he was adopted. Oh, it is his mom. Just, it's just his adopted mom. Don't cry, Octo. But I miss him, Pi. You know I miss him, too. Oh, I know it will cheer you up. Tentacle touch. Tentacle touch! Come here, you. That's lewd. <laughs> the messenger will play right into my hand, and once the magic seed is imbu imbued with voodoo energy, I will be one step closer to getting my revenge. So naive and predictable, I bet he is already on his way to save these useless creatures. Ah, I knew it. Time to hide for now. <laughs> Welcome to the tropics. Can you turn around for a sec? Please? Much better. I'll let you get on with it. Come see me if you want to go surfing again. See, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a Monkey Island reference or Adventure Island with uh, Tony Hawk, whatever his name is, the skateboard guy. He's in there, I know he is. Can't fool me. <gasps> he was in there! Mr. Higgins. That was his name. Go back to your own timeline.
Ah, the messenger. I was expecting you a bit sooner. Hey, I like what you've done with the place. Excuse me? Well, it's like the tiki shop or whatever. Oh, you're one of those. One of who? The people who always assume everything should always be defined from their perspective. No, I just like the tiki shop. Sure, let's disregard that maybe it's just the shop to me and that I would per probably perceive the one from your world as the arcane shop or whatever. After all, I'm the one visiting here, right? I bet you reply with the name of your town when people take turns saying which country they come from. Anyway, welcome to the shop. I'm glad it pleases your egocentric eye. Oh, also, I just attuned your scroll to the tropics. You should be able to see the time rifts now. Need anything. Current area. So, Voodkin Island? Oh, yeah. Enjoy the tropics. Try not to harm the little Voodkin too much. They're not evil. I'm liking the place so far. The weather is really something unique. What's wrong? Look, I accepted long ago that our conversations wouldn't be the most engaging, but talking about the weather is where I draw the line. Any stories to share? Of course I do. Does this area look like it's part of a tacked-on wannabe Metroidvania to you? Which story will it be? Maybe I could tell you about the evil genie, who would always corrupt the owner's wishes, so that the one asking to fly could never land, and the one asking to know everything could never talk or write. Sure, that sounds interesting. Or maybe I could tell you about the little boy who always wanted to be a warrior and became a sword swallower after hearing, We are what we eat. What? Oh, I know, here's one for you. There once was a family of innkeepers operating their business on a world devoid of physical boundaries. Indeed, the establishment had an endless amount of rooms to rent, and business was so good, each and every one of them was occupied. Still, new customers would keep coming in and be giving a, given a room right away. Wait, how can someone rent a room if there's no vacancy? Unprecedented, right? You see, living in a boundless world comes with a few perks. Thus, even though all the rooms were occupied, the possibilities with them... The possibilities with them were as endless as the corridor they belonged to. So the new customer would always get room number one, and then have to ask the customer that was already there to move to room number two, who would ask for the other customer to do the same for number three, and so on forever. It might take a few moments to wrap your head around this, but given the endless amount of rooms, there would always be a next room to go to, and ask the customer there to move over to the next one. And while that was certainly bound to cause some discomfort to an unfathomable amount of people, the fact still remained that every new customer would get a room even though there was no vacancy. That's sort of neat. Sort of, yes. Speaking of neat, one can seldom imagine the housekeeping costs, so the innkeeper family eventually determined that there needed to be some sort of boundaries. For their inn to be manageable, the number of rooms had to be finite. They called this concept infinity. Eventually, the passage of time blurred this story as it does all things, changing the word spelling to infinity and inverting its meaning. The end. Really? <laughs> really what? I can't believe this. You dragged me through all of that just for a stupid pun in the end. You know what? I can't believe that after all these stories you still won't think past the surface. Or do you simply not care that I just managed to teach you how it's actually possible to do Infinity Plus One by conceptualizing ensembles with properties capable of perpetual movement in a way a five-year-old would understand? Thought so. Okay, but how do I keep going? Oh, oh, oh. This was a way down? It was! I know he said not to harm them, but I wanted to do it.
You say that every time we go underwater. I, I assume. <laughs> that was, that was, um, Frog Fractions. Frog Fractions has had a very long underwater segment that, uh, where someone would periodically read from a, a fake Wikipedia article about how boxing was invented. The magic... slipper? Bed? Slipper bed? He punched it! Hey, look at you! You found an optional item! What is it? A mask piece! I think it goes along with the voodoo feathers you can find in the open sea surfing area. Will something cool happen if I collect all the feathers and mask pieces? Well, it'll certainly yield more than asking rhetorical questions. You spelled rhetorical wrong. You said rhetorical. Good luck out there. The H was in entirely the wrong place. Yeah, I guess there kind of are a lot of spelling mistakes. It's not good. Oh, I can drop down there. Haha, <laughs> silly me. Oh, I totally can go further up somehow. Try that again. That wasn't helpful. I want to go. Yeah. Did I want to go up here? Or was that actually the only way to progress? No, it was not. Wow! Almost killed me.
with which way to go? Nowhere. Oh, maybe I just need to be... Okay. No, I was already... We'll find out. Freaking shatter scat guys. Shat shatters? Sh sh scatter. Scatter shot. That's what I'm calling them. Oh, the worst. Die forever and then some. Peace. We've no idea how long this is. We'll see. Actually, does it say on my screen? It just says the number. Not out of how many. Oh, I'm gonna die. I still can't get through here. Oh. Once again, I missed that I can drop down. Uh, well, if you say so. It's a good thing I was ready to hold my breath or that would have just been a death chamber.
Oh, I missed one. Back to this room. Reveal your secrets. bad ideas including that oh, I can cling to the wall over there that's what I'm supposed to do way to get through. Gepto! Gepto does it. Like, I'm, I'm getting these mask pieces and just shattering them. Like, is that gonna be the joke at the end? He's gonna be like, so, you did it. Now you can assemble the mask. He's like, where are all the pieces? And you're like, oh, I broke them. That was what I kept doing with the medallions, so I just assumed. I saw you. I see you. Fine point. Fine point to uh, wrap up for the night. We will be playing tomorrow. Um, if I finish up Picnic, I have no idea how long it is. If I do finish it up, we'll go straight into EG. Uh, plan on the stream starting, let's say, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock stream tomorrow. I want to thank you guys for coming by. Uh, this is obviously a wonderful game, which I've been enjoying very much. We'll do just the last little bit of it, and that'll be it. <laughs> usual, usual weekday stream. Okay, so, 7 o'clock, so that's one hour later than I normally start. One hour later than normal start time. And I don't know how long we'll go. We'll see. Playing it by ear. <laughs> I am sorry for casting you into the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs>